Hello darlings, it's Brandy here from BRC Nails. Now today this is just a little experiment of what I'm doing. Um, before I get into it, please like, share, subscribe, join the YouTube family. You know, the whole deal. <laughs> okay, so with this um, experiment that I did, I saw this on um, Femi Beauty's channel. And she's been doing little cutouts at the end of some of her nail sets. And they're hearts or diamonds or butterflies. You know, she had a whole bunch of different shapes on there. But I am very, very leery of the e-file. I haven't cut myself or anything like that. I use um, press-ons, so I'm not really using my e-file all that much. Because even if I encapsulate something... I can usually just hand file it because you want to have the layer be thin so that the flexibility of the nail is still there and you can actually put it on because then the sizes won't be right if you put too much product on top and it won't bend. So, you know, like I said, I'm not really um, competent with my e-file yet, so I thought this would be a good way for me to like learn control and just get comfortable with it in my hands. So what I'm doing is I have it up about halfway up on the dial, so like 12.5. It's not, um, you know, it's a spin dial. There's no like little set numbers on it or whatever. Um, but I believe it's a, a 2,500 thousand, whatever it is. Like I said, I don't really know much about e-filing, but I really wanted to try this out because they looked so cute. And I knew it wasn't going to be awesome. I definitely knew that for a fact. But I still really, really wanted to try it. So I did. And I used the bit that, um, it kind of looks like a toothpick. And it came with the e-file. You know, you get that little set with the, um, you know, the five things. And it has the little sanding bands on the top. And this was the long skinny one that was in there. Now this first nail that I'm doing, I actually put a layer of poly gel over it just the clear mulberry poly gel because i actually did this video a little bit a little while ago um and then you know filed it down and then went to do the heart design because i was worried that the plastic without anything on it would just completely crack because when femi was doing it she was doing it on um built nails you know like made out of I'm not sure if these were poly gel or acrylic because she did it in a few videos. But I wanted to give the nail itself a little bit more substance. And as for a guide, I just kind of use like the heart dotting tool method. Where you do like two hearts, I mean two dots next to each other. And then kind of drag it down into a V on the bottom. So that you get a nice shaped heart without one side being more or less. But since I was carving it, I did three dots and tried to connect the dots, <laughs> basically into the shape of a heart. And there was a little bit of resistance slash difference. Like I could tell when I got through the poly gel and it didn't get part of the plastic. I probably should have zoomed in closer while I was doing this. But I've, I've never really filmed with the e-file at all. So bear with me, please. Um, I think the big mistake that I made on this one was that I was trying to score the plastic underneath and ended up scraping off more on the top than the bottom. You know, like scraping off the poly gel and then having to go out to try to fix that mistake and then you know it just kind of snowballed from there but you know it's a first attempt and it was fun <laughs> even if it it was you know when you try something new it's it feels weird at least it does to me it's just like uncomfortable but I'm focused and I want to do it so now I'm going in on just the plain plastic tip and this one was definitely harder to do than the one with the poly gel on it it just, you know, it had that cracking kind of bending sort of whatever. I don't even know how to describe it. When I did it, the one with the poly gel, you know, 
the e-file like went straight through and it worked the way that I expected an e-file to work from using it in my minimal experience. I tried the same method with the dots and it just didn't, you know, I made the holes, but the plastic actually stood up better, I think. So I had a hard time getting the extra plastic off. Like I had to actually file, you know, up and down to get the, um, you know, like when ants make an ant hill and there's all that extra stuff on the side, I had to file all that off where on the one with the poly gel, I didn't have to do that. Sorry, I'm fidgeting. I'm sure it's going to be loud as hell when I listen to the playback. But I had to get all that other plastic out of the way before I could get into the shape. So that also affected the structure and the look of it. I want to say hi to all my lovely new supporters and followers, subscribers, new and old. My Glitter Girls collab and Chase, of course. Um, I love you all so much. We're growing, growing, growing. We're getting there. At the time of me recording this, Pumpkin Nail Station is so close to the Magic 1000. So close. So close. She's like four people away. So early congratulations or belated congratulations or whatever. I'm so happy for you. Couldn't You work so hard and you've done so much for everyone and you are amazing. I love you. Um, her link will be down below as will Femi Beauties. And yeah, so back to the nails. Like I was saying, this one was a lot harder to manipulate. And it did more damage to the actual nail itself. So it's definitely better to work with a medium that is kind of the e-file is made for. Because it's not really made to work on that hard plastic like this. You know, it, it's made to work on gel and acrylic and poly gel so I think that definitely helped a lot and I did notice too when I went to do the three dots for or the three holes for the heart it was easier for it to skip and get it off center than it was with the one with the poly gel on it so I don't know that I would try to do the plastic tip by itself ever again I don't know if it's worth it I mean, I guess you could probably buy these. I think I saw them somewhere, maybe on AliExpress, because I'm always on there. But you can buy the plastic tips with the cutouts already on it. But like I said, I wanted to practice getting used to holding the e-file and, you know, doing it in different movements and things like that. Plus, it looked super cute when she did it. So, you know, I had to try it. I don't really do do full kawaii or anything like that the way that she does but I still love it I think it's cute so I figured eventually one day I'm gonna want to do this too so you know practice makes perfect and all that but yeah the the plain plastic one I would say is a big fail the one with the poly gel wasn't too bad I'm definitely gonna work on it more and and see if I can't master it well thanks so much for joining me Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Check out the two ladies down in the drop-down box. They have awesome, awesome, awesome content. Awesome. So this is what they looked like in the end. I think it turned out better than I thought it would. Thanks so much for watching. Have a marvelous day. And thanks again.